one would have believed in the early years of the 21st century that our world was being watched by intelligences greater than our own. Sums it up. Did you see the tripod? This spring. They're in every major city all over the world. Oh. When the worlds are at war. A girl had a pet duck. Mr. President, the planet is under attack by aliens. Well, I'll handle that in a minute. Uh, right now, I want to see what happens with the duck. More people will die. You mean right now all of these children's parents could be dead? <laughs> Remind me to sign that abortion bill. No grudge is strong enough. There's something going on in this house. I can't shake this feeling of evil. No village is safe enough. There's someone here that has the answers. <laughs> Shall we have a foot race? <laughs> <laughs> no saw is sharp enough. <gasps> I did it! We're saved! Oh my god! What's wrong? Wrong foot. Mother. <laughs> Scary Movie 4. You ready for the Tom Ryan Express? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I've taken ball to the face before. Based on true events. He is in the building. The man who saved the world. Tom Ryan! I'm in love. <laughs> I love Cindy Campbell! The boy has lost it. I love this woman! I love this woman! Bree was ready to change her looks. Medical procedures to date. The usual electrolysis, three years of hormone therapy, and a facial feminization surgery. And ready to change her life. After my operation, I will be a woman. But the one thing no one can change is the past. I got a phone call last night. He claimed to be Stanley's son. No third person. My son. Me Toby Wilkins. Jesus the reformer. It's one of these churches that sends missionaries out. No, I'm from the Church of the Potential Father. Thank you for bailing me out. Well, got a flight to Los Angeles first thing in the morning. We'll see you out there. Free ride, free food, free motel rooms. I promise to take him to Los Angeles. <gasps> dude, this is great. Wish you would stop calling me dude. Eat your vegetables. You might want to use a fork. Just an idea. The Weinstein Company and IFC Films present... Get in here before the neighbors see you. I thought you said your parents were dead. Wishful thinking. Your mother and I both love you. But we don't respect you. A story of two people and the one secret that has kept them apart for 17 years. She is not my mother. She's not even a real woman. <laughs> Just because a person doesn't go around blabbing her entire biological history doesn't make her a liar. Hey, look! You boys go ahead. Come on. Hey, babe, let's stay out tonight. Toby. Toby. Are you a boy or a girl? I can't handle this. Felicity Huffman. There's things about her she's not telling you. Every woman has a right to a little mystery. Oh. Trans America. It's Miss Gill. <laughs> I don't put hair on your chest. I hope not.
Danny was just a regular guy. This time I know you'll get the job. Having a really... Three! Really bad day. Danny, you're late. Sorry. You know what this job means, right? I know somebody has to pay for a new kitchen. Until... He met an expert. In town on business? Oh, yeah. What about you? What do you do for a living? At eliminating the competition. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? You're hitting me? <laughs> Scared, Julian. I don't know what I'll do if I don't get this job. I'm a great helper in getting deals closed. But when a hitman starts losing his edge, <sighs> I froze. We have a problem. He doesn't get a second shot. Julian Noble is a dead man. Without a little help. Danny, Danny, Danny with the large white fanny. <laughs> what are you doing here, Julian? What? They're gonna kill you? Well, can't you just say to them, you know what, I'm sorry. That's one more job. You owe me. Danny, please, it'll be a good time. Oh, so now killing somebody is a good time. Can be. This fall comes a comedy about friendship at point blank range. Whoa. Pierce Brosnan. Mr. Noble, how are you today? More importantly, how are you, Genevieve? Greg Kinnear. I could really use your help. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hope Davis. Do you think he's dangerous? Of course he's dangerous. You said he was a nice guy. He is. An assassin. He's very nice. The Matador. Goodbye, Skadoodle. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Smell ya. Shouldn't have to tell ya.
lunch money and a note for Jim. And you promised to help me with my book report, remember? The author devotes a lot of time to developing the characters and he seduces the reader by... Seduces? Yeah, he, uh, he draws you in, you know? You want to know how it ends. But I already knew how it ended. Okay, so right it was predictable. No, Dad, I mean I've seen the movie. Oh, right. Come on, you gotta eat. Can't you think of another word? Intrigues. Intrigues. Thanks, Mom. I'm much smarter than Dad, you know that? Yes, yeah, so and God help us if he ever finds out. Well, if Mom's so smart, maybe she should help you with your book report. See what I mean? I have a meeting, Dee. Yeah, I have meetings, too. Amy, your book report, your call, me or him. I choose option C, where you two get me a tutor. Yep, we've been through this. <sighs> where is it? It's over there. It's the hospital. Yep. Speaking. No. No, the levels are the same. Yep. I'll fax it over when I get to work. Thanks. Going to the ATM? He wants to live forever, right? Amy, the doctors say you have to stay positive. At least it's not going up. It's not going down either, though. Positive. Ooh. Amy, your bus will be here soon. Bye. We used to kiss each other goodbye in the mornings. Shut up. Come on. The author intrigues the reader by twisting the narrative so you never know what's coming next. How's that? Sorry. The train on platform two is the 750 red line service to Chicago Central, calling at 7th Street, Davis Street, Main Street.